For those of you been paying attention, you'll be aware that there are contact tracing apps on the horizon. And this video is to show you what's going on in the UK. But first, a quick look at what's happening in China, which seems to be the front runner for all things tracing. China have a version of the app used across mainland China. It displays a QR code with an individual's virus status. It can be used to determine the extent to which the individual individual is allowed to move about. So it's about controlling people. In another article, a Chinese city plans to monitor its citizens and rank them by healthiness with an app, making its emergency COVID-19 surveillance regime permanent. Dear, dear, dear. So absolute tyranny, 1984 style, monitoring and tracking and tracing. Now let's look at the UK. This company called uh, VST Enterprises struck a deal on the 8th of May, a £50 million deal. With the owner, Lewis James Davis, aged 31, and it's designed to track people's testing status using um, healthcare workers uh, registering a valid test against an individual. So on the 8th of May, this happened. This is a £50 million deal to get you to use uh, to launch an app which would be uh, released in 15 countries. And some of these countries are pretty West, you know, big Western countries. So for instance, Italy, Portugal, France, Panama, India, the US, Canada, Sweden, Spain, South Africa, Mexico, UAE and the Netherlands. So it's an intelligent mapping system, green, amber, red, to authenticate and validate a COVID test providing test history and relevant health information. And let's look at the um, the V Health Passport, which is one of the subsidiaries um, of VSTS Enterprises. Some of the things that have happened. So they call it a health passport with V code. And look at that. That's April the 3rd. It develops the software on April the 3rd. Now, bear in mind, this lockdown in the UK was the middle of March. That's three weeks time scale to launch or be ready with a, a software package, which when I show you in a second, if you're a software developer or tester like I am, you'll know that's impossible. Absolutely impossible. A new app could speed up the return to football as Premier League analysed technology which would allow fans and tickets to be sold to healthy fans. So it's on the horizon for football and events. And it's a £50 million deal as we discussed. And the Premier League told to introduce the digital health passport. So um, we've got former sports ministers wading in saying they should they should use it. So it seems like it's on the way. It was appeared on Sky Sports on the 24th of May and is on Talk Sport. So it's getting lots of coverage in the press. Let's go to their website. So the V code is a sim is a simple unique identifier which for um anybody who knows anything about intelligence this is a wet dream because in the past you'd have to use identifiers like phone numbers, email addresses, different different things and you'd have to join the dots to identify someone. But this unifies all of that under one unique identifier. And if we go to the Covey Pass website itself, here is that V code. It's scanned from a distance. It can be scanned from a way off. And it holds things like health records, payment records, car registration numbers, business card details, social media links, and much more, all from the same code. It could hold things like websites, videos, photos, books, documents, and much more. Look at the use cases here. Your passport details, your contact details, your work details, where you've been, event tickets, medical records, dental records, ICE details, crypto wallet. So if you if you hold cryptocurrency, education details, payment details, everything you've spent money on electronically and loyalty schemes. This is a big worry for me because it's essentially giving up every single piece of data and metadata that's held under your digital footprint and you are now passing that over to governments who, let's face it, have handled this in this whole corona hoax in, in shocking, shocking form. None of the numbers are correct. They're, they're manipulating death certificates. The test kits don't work. They've falsely 
falsely represented all of those details and handled this in an appalling way. So what do you think? Would you download this app? Would you have anything to do with it? Please share this with your friends as it should worry them. At least you shouldn't be giving up your civil liberties for so-called safety. Ask them to look up real death death numbers and we know we're no bigger than the average flu season. Does this really warrant this big brother surveillance in such a to- totalitarian state way? I thought we were a Western country where we had freedoms. It doesn't appear that way. I hope this shocks enough people to share it with others. And I do hope those receiving this video do take a look and ask their friend for more information. Thanks for watching.